Hi there, in this video we will learn about the economic application of general exponential functions. Here we will consider the population growth and the data is of the European population. Here you can see that expression is developed. Population is a function of time and this is the response on the right hand side. Small t represents time in years and definitely p stands for the population. Now if we consider this function and we try to put the values of t uh, we can get the values of population. So we start the time period from 0 that is now and we take it to for example 10 years and then definitely we can put the value of t here and find out various values of p. So all these values are found you can experiment with other values as well. So this is the uh, graph after using these values as you can see the increase is substantial and uh, exponential in nature as well. Though it's quite mild but it is still there. Then we have um, a certain time period that is after 20 years uh, the population in the year 2000 what it would be. Uh, the guess as per the equation would be this that if we put 40 here in this equation I will get which a value which will be 854 million. Now this is the estimated value in the basis of this function but actually if we measure the population uh, in the certain year that is 2000 after 40 years of this uh, beginning of our analysis the actual population is 728 million. So an overestimation exists that is the difference of these two would give us 126. So there is an overestimation of 126 million in this analysis. And this can be attributed to poor projections because in these projections there can be some um, uh, you know limitations and lack of rigor due to which the estimates can go wrong a little bit or maybe a little inflated or deflated. In this case there is overestimation. Now we can use this uh, exponential population function from another angle that if you want to know that how much of the time will be required to find out that the population has become 900 million then we can easily use this equation that we have already used but in this case in place of population we will write 900 we show that there is million. So time will be the remaining unknown and we can solve this in order to find out the value of time which will be 47.3 years. So this means that after 47.3 years the population will reach the level of 900 million. Now this uh, small uh, process guides us about the various steps that are taken to solve it. You can pause the video and see that how these steps are undertaken and basically we are in search of the value of time. So this is how an exponential function can be used in our economic or demographic analysis to make sense and real life meaning. Thank you.